Hey everyone, thanks for hanging out today. It's Andrew from MAO Magic with Philip Hughes' new BR30 Floodlight Bulbs. Now they've had Floodlight Bulbs for a while, but the 2017 version of the white and ambiance one has been updated slightly with a few new small tweaks in both design and function. So we're going to open this up and guess what? It looks exactly the same. There's some new updated packaging and you might even see some white packaging. You can maybe visit an Apple store, but it is all really similar packaging with nothing more inside but the bulb itself. That's because like all other Hue bulbs, you do need the bridge with the starter kit sold separately to actually really get the full features of this smart bulb. Sure, you could plug this in, turn it on and off with your light switch and you'd be fine. But guess what? You're not going to get any of the smart features and you're just going to get a standard LED bulb. If you want to change the colors and schedule and automate and use HomeKit and do all the other amazing things from this bulb, you're going to need that hub. Definitely check out our video on the full starter kit, which you can find below or at the end of this video for all of that. Now back to this new white and color ambiance bulb. They did recently just release a white only bulb that allows you just to change the temperature, but this is the white and color version, so it's a slightly more expensive option, but it gives you that full color spe spectrum as well as just those different temperatures of the white. The bulb itself is designed very simply and especially considering the last generation version. It is just all white and it's a little bit on the plasticky side, but I don't really mind that at all. When you compare it to the last generation Hue BR30 white and color bulb, you notice a big difference. The one that left the last generation version and it sported that big metal top there, which was basically a heat sink to dissipate some of the heat that this bulb was putting off. This new version does away with that big heat sink completely, making it not only a lot lighter, but added other features. The old bulb was only 630 lumens, while this new one is slightly brighter at 650, so a good little bump in brightness there, especially for these downlights. They've also made some adjustments in the color. It is quite a bit better on some of the color representations, specifically on the greens and the blues. Those are much improved over the last generation. Of course, you can control all this through the app, allowing you to turn it on and off, dim it all the way down to 1%, all the way back up, as well as a variety of different colors. Here is your white, which is temperature, so you can do warm all the way to a much cooler color down below or somewhere neutral in the middle, kind of like regular daylight. You also have all of these colors. There's a ridiculous array. We're kind of going with some of the extremes, though you can't really quite see them as good on the camera as they look in real life. As with all the Hue balls, you can control these via HomeKit if you're an iOS user, allowing you to use Siri to control your lights. You can also schedule them based on when you're coming or going or time of day, whether motion is detected in the room using a HomeKit motion detector or the Hue motion detector, which I also recommend you take a look at that video if you have not already. While these are still a little bit on the more expensive side, this is definitely a step in the right direction, adding better color representation, better design at a lot lighter, getting rid of that heat sink, and even brighter than it was in the past. So if you are a fan of these bulbs and you need some, uh, these are perfect for kitchens. I love them in the kitchen or really high up lights. They still work as good as they have always done in the past. I absolutely love these Hue lights in the entire Hue lineup. So I encourage you to explore all the videos in our Hue playlist. If you've already got a Hue setup going, definitely pick up one or a few of these at the link below in the description. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments, subscribe, and give us a thumbs up. Until next time, everyone, it's Andrew for MAO Magic.